Today was a bunch of traps. Hey Alex, let me ask you, is, is there still a MIC cell going on for Memorial Day? I think we're, we, we may have it for the last week, guys. So take advantage, it's half off. This is the chance to do it. If you ever curious about MIC, stock market is, man, people say it's slow. People say, oh, it's hard. Guys, we do the same thing every day. I'm green today, I was green Friday, knock on wood. You know, I've been green pretty much. I probably think I've been like red only four days in the past three months, knock on wood. I don't want to jinx myself, but uh, we do the same thing every day, man. When people say there's shit that's slow, it's slow because they don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> there's so many different strategies, so different styles to trade. The markets are never slow. It's only slow because we stick in our own niche. And that's completely fine. We always teach you to start with one niche, make your money become consistent. But when you're consistent already, complacency is death. That's why you see me trying all new sorts of things. I am pretty much a short bias trader, but I do longs too. You know, I went long today, AMC, OEG, things like that. When I recognize that there's opportunity in the morning, I go long. So complacency is death, guys. If you are uh, become consistent with one strategy, one niche, use these slow times to learn. Because now what happens is it's never really slow for me. Because I, I can channel trade during the... So, you know, if you're a short seller, it's very dangerous to trade during zombie hours. So, but I know how to long a stock too. So I go long sometimes during zombie hours. And then during, during the midday where it's just really choppy, people think it's choppy, but for me, I love it. You know why? It's called channel trading. So I trade between the channels. People go, oh, I see all these guys, these gurus, gurus, always talk about, oh my God, the markets, there's so much manipulation, algos, pick a direction already, pick a direction. I go, I don't give a fuck what direction it is, as long as the stock moves. If it moves within a channel, I will make money. I prefer it in a channel, you know why? It's safe, it is safe trading. Trading within a channel is very safe compared to trying to figure out the top, trying to figure out the bottom, do all this stuff, right guys? So there's many different ways to trade. And so we teach you a bunch of different ways to trade. Not only we teach you that, we actually, that's what we do, we teach you that actually. Whereas the other people, they alert you, right? So that cut leads me to this topic that we want to talk about today, guys. What happens when your fucking furu doesn't show up for work? He's on vacation, whatever else it is. What the hell are you gonna do? What if he gets caught on an SEC scam and he disappears? You've just wasted thousands of dollars to, to fucking, to do what? To not learn shit except to trade, to learn what he wants to pump you, right guys? So, are you self-sufficient? Ask yourself that, really. Are you really self-sufficient? Can you trade without a single alert? Can you trade without having someone to tell you what to do? I don't think most of you can. I don't think most of these guys in these chat rooms can. We're, we're the only ones, the MIC is the only one that do not alert, we do not pump. We actually educate you on how to trade. So that that's why I don't need to show up to work sometimes. You know, other people have learned what I've done. And that's why we promote them to moderators. If you take a look at our moderators, they consist of members, members who are trading the same style, the same strategy, the same process as us. So our methods, our processes are what? Repeatable, they work. You know how I know that they work? The moderators have the same charts as I do. Other members have the same charts as we do. So it's repeatable, it works. They have the same exact trades as we do without us having to alert them. And when I see that happen, they post the charts in our room. And when I see their charts looking like my charts, and my charts are not that great. <laughs> their charts are even better sometimes, right? I, I love it. It means that I my job is done. I've truly, truly educated and mentored someone to do a ridiculously good skill that will change their life and their family's lives forever. The moment I see that they have the same chart as I do, without me having to alert them, it makes me so happy. It means that my job is done, guys. But whereas these Furu guys, their charts do not look like any of their traders' charts. Because what they do is they, they front load, then they get on the mic, or they pump it on Twitter, 
or they pump it through that hundred thousand dollars, a hundred member, hundred thousand member rooms. No one's gonna post a fucking chart. They're not gonna show you that. They've been accumulating for the past week to pump you, or they fucking ate a hundred thousand shares to scalp for ten cents. Ask yourself, really ask yourself, do you know what the fuck you're doing? Even if you make money, guys, in these chat rooms, the moment they disappear, you're toast. Your only chance of survival is if they are there, bumping to you. So what you end up being is the fastest sheep. The fastest sheep is still a sheep. I'd rather be the slowest self um, self fucking self trading individual. I mean, you know, like um, I want to be able to be able to do it myself. Okay, I don't need anybody. I don't want to be a sheep. I don't want to be the best sheep in the world. I what I want to do is a self sufficient trader. If I am a self sufficient trader, it is up to me to make my own trades because I know what I'm doing and I am capable of doing that. That is true education, guys. Because I, I I logged on today and I saw a bunch of frus not being in the room. And I'm like, holy fuck. So I was kind of pissed actually. So an example is like, there's one big guy that I short all the time. And I'm like, where the fuck is he? Someone says he's on vacation. I'm like, oh, fuck. So I'm pissed because that's a big part of my income. Because he moves these pieces of shit stock up and I short them. And I'm like, there goes a big chunk of my income for the day, right? But you know what, man? I'm a self-sufficient trader. I'm no sheep. I don't need anybody to trade. So then I trade in my own style. So, but it's, you know, my own style works. It makes money. But hey, another way to make money is to trade off the sheep. But just, but, but if that didn't happen today, I, I will still be okay. But the sheep right now, where their leader is on vacation, they're screwed. They don't know what the fuck to trade. They're just sitting around like, hey, where is so-and-so? Where is so-and-so? Oh, he's not here today. Oh, fuck. I mean, what the fuck? You, 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 I thought you're here to learn. Obviously, those guys in those rooms are not there to learn. They're there for get rich quick or go bankrupt. Go big or go home. Fuck that go big or go home. I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather just go slow but, but fucking never stop. Slow and never stop. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. Consistency is what we preach. Self-sufficiency and stop being a sheep. And that's why we have these fucking cells to help you out. Notice I'm not here. Alex is here. Alex is not here. I'm here. If Alex and I are not here, Tosh is here. If Tosh and all of us are not here, the moderators are here. We all have people that we have successfully trained using the strategies that we teach others. So they're all trading our strategy, our process, and now it becomes their process, their strategy, and now they're teaching other members, guys. And that is true education. So I wanted to talk about this because I woke up today and I was like, where are all these fucking fruits I'm making money off? They're not around. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. There goes, a, there goes a few thousand dollars I make every day off of them, right? Literally, I make a few thousand dollars every single day off of them. Not going with <laughs> But, uh, any questions, guys? I'm going I'm to slow it there. I think I want to bring Alex on real quick. Alex, you wanted to come on to talk about something? We have a great thing, guys. I forgot to post about this. We have a new program. You know, remember we have a member appreciation program in MIC? We always we love our members. We give back our members. That's how we, we that's how we have to do meetups. We have free meetups, guys. Uh, the pandemic kind of stopped that, but we love our members. You guys know that. We're the only ones that show up fucking every day. I took a break from my trading right now to come out here looking like shit to talk to you guys every single Tuesday. And Alex does it on Monday. Uh, Tosh and I do it on Wednesday on the free, free uh, webinar. Tonight's Tuesday, so Joe does it on the on the webinar for large caps and options for MIC guys. So, you know, no one does that, man. All right, I'm gonna go live with Alex. Program we uh, just implemented. What's up, bro? How you doing? Ah, oh, I'm tired of talking. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me kind of explain a couple of things. So what we're doing now, guys, is we are introducing something called the Member of the Month. So we want to start to reward members who are helping other members most every single month. This is additional to our member appreciation program. So basically this month, we decided that Akeem Ale, I hope I'm pronouncing that month, for posting the daily chat logs for everyone to review every single day. 
So Akeem, please DM Oliver Tan, and he's going to get you a bunch of MIC swag. We want to continue to reward our members, whether it be some swag, maybe we send you guys some money to go get a nice steak. Hey, Alex, 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 I'll do, I'll, I'll do one better. We're going to post them on our website. We're going to have now a website member of the week. Every week, we're going to add one member to that list. And so it's going to be in our website forever. How about that? That would be fucking cool, right? Cool. We'll throw it on there. So this is how it is, man. It's like a recognition board, guys. We might throw some other badges on the board. That might be a great way for us to do it, Alex. Like, you know, like recognize yep. whoever is helping out the community, and then that's our batch, batch thing. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Also, guys, last day for the Memorial Day, half off your first month. The link is on the website, myinvestingclub.com. Check it out. And that's basically it, bro. So you got a lot of good topics to talk about today. All these stocks are still crazy. It's just wild, bro. The stocks are crazy, and the main gurus, the main mentors are nowhere to be found. Talk about the zombie rule again in the watch list. I think that needs to be reiterated. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to give too much away because that's kind of our golden rule. Yep, but yep. shit, man, every single day at 1030, there is a big signal on these stocks that they are starting to reverse. We do something called time-based trading, which means that for every couple hours on the trading day, we have, uh, we have a way to kind of trade it. So the morning between 930 and 1030 is for shorts. You know, 10.30 to 2 is for longs, 2 to 3 is for shorts, and then 3 to 4 is nothing. So this is something that we review every single day, that we teach people every single day, and these rules save our members a bunch of money. Correct, and, and that's how we do it. And the tab programs have helping people as well. So I just want to reiterate this, because people take this shit for granted, guys. Um, people think trading is just about buying low, selling high. That's bullshit, because the problem is, where do you sell? Where do you buy? The yeah. gurus don't even know. These guys have no clue. All they do is they have 100,000 members, and they just buy where they want to buy. And people have no clue. All they do is chasing. Yep. Wow. And so what happened today, Alex? What happened today when they're not around? <laughs> what happened today is they don't know how to trade, bro. They don't know how to trade because all they do is buy pumps. <laughs> and so what happens? Uh, the reason we talk about this is that we, were, we are in pretty much all these rooms as well, just kind of listening and laughing. Uh, and they're like, what the fuck's going on? I don't know what the fuck you do, right? Yep, exactly, bro, exactly. So, I mean, we do things differently, and I would just say, man, try us out, and you'll see for yourself. Yep. All right, cool, Alex. I'm going to bring one member on. After I get to bring you off. So, thanks, man. All right, guys, who else can we come on? Raise your hand. I'm bring, it's been a while since I brought a member on. I would love to bring someone on that's just random. If no one wants to come on, then we'll be done. <laughs> I'll get back to trading. <laughs> but um, I think someone wants to come on. Talk about whatever you want to talk about. Your experience is MIC. You don't have to be an MIC member. All you need is raise your hand, guys. All right, I'm going to go live with Polotard. Whatever. Polotared? Xander is a high school student, so it's never too early, guys, to learn. Never too early to learn. Oh, I thought Polotard said he's declined. Okay, guys. I'm going to bring on Davin. Mr. Davin here. It's been a long time since I uh, brought him on, so it's good. Let's see how he's – what's going on. Hey, what's up, brother? Mr. Bao, what's going on? Hey, why are you always looking so good, bro? Hey, 1030. I'm 1030 <laughs> at the gym. That's my rule, right? Getting oh, away that's from fucking the... true. That's true, bro. That's my trade. So the, only, the only trade I take is the dumbbell that's heavier. <laughs> so tell us uh, – so introduce yourself to people that don't know who you are and what's going on, man. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Davron. I'm the OG MIC member. I'm, you know, I started with Bao back in 2018, I believe, right? When, uh, when MIC started. So yeah, he's a day, uh, he's a day one original, man. He's day been one. around for a long time. MIC said, uh, I mean, the he's, uh, Bao, he, he, he's a dude. You need a house in in Sacramento area. He's a good realtor. So yes. not only he trades, so. I'm going to plug him too. Hit him up. You know, this is supplemental income. He doesn't do this full-time trading, but it helps out. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it was nice seeing you in, in Vegas, bro. That was fun. <laughs> so tell us, how do you juggle work? This might be a good question for you because a lot of uh, people have a full-time job and you have a full-time job from doing something else. So how do you juggle it? And, you know, how do you, how do you even start trading when you have another job? 
Uh, it's definitely hard. So, uh, you know, I do real estate full time, obviously. And um, yeah, I wake up since being on the West Coast, it's easier, right? I wake up at 5 a.m., you know, 4, 4.45 a.m. So I start getting ready right away. I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to stop you right there. You, you know what you said. It's easier, but you have to wake up at 4.45. Some people don't want to wake up at fucking 10 o'clock. So, <laughs> so that's the difference between Davern, who's a successful guy, and someone who's making excuses. So I post, I tweeted something. If, you're in a, if you want to change your life, you make, you, you make it happen. If you don't want to, you're going to fucking find an excuse. Davern did not make an excuse. What he did was he called it easy. He woke up, it's easy. So you know what the easiest part of being successful is? Waking up. But for us, it's easy. For other people, it's not. But you know what the real hard part is? When you wake up, what are you going to do? So wake it up, guys. If you think that waking up is the hardest part, you're fucking, you got it backwards, right? It's fucking, that's the easiest part of the day. Now we have to wake up and go make money. That's harder, right? I love waking up at 5. It's, I mean, 4, 4.45, right? 4.30, 4.45. Because, you know, it's, you, get, you get the day started early. You, you know, make some money until... Uh, seven thirty our time. You're you're done with the market, and you can go hit the gym and go work on your business. You know, real estate, whatever, yep. whatever you're doing. So, so how, tell people how you get started, man. How you oh, start? Yeah, so, how do you balance it? Go ahead. Obviously, I, I was uh, yeah, I was at the gym with my buddy, and then uh, we were talking about stocks and stuff. And he mentioned Tim Sykes. He's like, hey, do you know this guy, Tim Sykes? Uh, and then I was like, no, who's that guy? And <laughs> so uh, he mentioned this, and then I started following him on Instagram, and I uh, signed up for his penny stocking silver, whatever thing, right? Um, and actually I started doing pretty good. I, I turned like initial seven K to like 14 or like, uh, no, to like 20 something K. Um, and then he kind of like he gave me a shout outs and everything like that. And they, I kind of learned the basics, but then I blew up. Right. <laughs> and I blew up and I kept losing. Um, I took my total loss was like 70 K or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, before I started, you know, before I found you and I messaged you, I was like, wow, you know, this thing happened. I know you seem like you're, you're really good, you know, trading. And, um, and he gave me some advice. He's like, don't give up. Uh, just stick with it and, uh, you know, come learn at M MIC. So I started learning at MIC and it took me four years to finally become profitable. This year, I, I was pretty profitable uh, until uh, April, April and May. So April, I took, a, I took some hits. I'm still up on the year. I'm still up like a lot on the year, but I took May off uh, to just re clear my mind. And I'm back here in June. Uh, you, you, know why? On, you know first day. You, 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 it's the same thing, man. You know what you're doing. The problem is when you become too successful too quickly, you become arrogant and you forget yeah. what it took for you to get back to where you got. So sometimes that humbling experience may be the best thing for you to bounce back up higher now. Because now exactly. you're going to make fucking sure that's not going to happen again. 100%. Get, you know you what are, I did, Bao? Go for it. I, yep. put, I put a broker broker level stop loss at two and a half percent of my account value. So that means I can't lose more than that, even if I want to, right? Even if I can't, can't stop myself, right? Because before that, I, I'm very profitable, but on like, there's one or two days that take me out, that take out like two, three weeks, one month of work. And if I can't el eliminate those days, I'm profitable, right? I'm super profitable. Because I know I can make money every day. Like today I'm 500 bucks, uh, 450, 500 bucks green, right? And it's effortless, you know, a AMC, you know, waited until it, you know, uh, stuffed and then I, uh, you know, shorted the following balances. So. Think, 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 think about this, man. Five hundred dollars a day—that's a hundred thousand dollars a year if you can do that every day. Yeah, that's a lot of money, bro. That's more than normal fucking jobs, more than engineers, right? Yeah, so, and it's I mean, small size. And and for me, that's a small size. Like I'm usually throwing a lot more size, you know. But sure. um, yeah, so like it's five hundred bucks. I, that's the thing. Like I get greedy, and that's not good as well because I want to. I want to get to your level, Alex's level, right? But then the market pushes me back. Like, no, you're not ready yet. You're not ready yet. Stay in 500, you know, 400 range. So. Yeah, Davin, you know, you know, you know why? Because like, like once again, you're like, okay, I, we always told you to put a max daily loss, but you have not. Yeah. Because you've been you've been successful without it. Yeah. And and you broke the rules along the way to get there. Exactly. And you and you're blessed that you're still up for the year. Some people will lose their entire fucking bankroll because they've been successful 99 days. The hundredth day, they fucking lose, and they lose all their fucking money. That's what happens, man. Yeah, so well. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that it took you this long, but you finally did it at last to, to put in the risk management parameters. Exactly. So after my initial blow up, then my, my risk management became, like, very, very good. That's why I haven't been blowing up my accounts, right? I, I'm like, no, that's the last time I blow up. 
So now I know, like, I had, a, I had a max loss in mind, but I would always, like, you know, lose a little bit more than that. So, like, my max loss was, like, before $2,000 or 2500 I would lose, like, 3000 4000 Then it messed me up even more, you know, double my. So now I'm, I'm at, I put my broker level stop loss at, like, uh, 850 850 bucks. So, and I know I can make it back in a day or two. Or That's day. exactly right. That's exactly yeah. right, man. You do around two to three days max, guys. What happens is this on the max thing, okay? There's two ways. When, when, when it hits that max day you lost, uh, sometimes the broker doesn't liquidate for you unless you tell them you want to auto liquidate. Because yeah. then you, you'll end up holding it because you're like, I hit my last, max loss. I can't trade anymore. But what if I hold it? It may come back to me, right? And exactly. Then you, and then you end up losing double your max loss all the time. So exactly. You need, so you need to set your max loss, in my opinion, around 70 to 50% lower than what your real max loss is. So if you want a thousand dollar max loss, you put that shit at 700, 800 bucks. And, and if, if you're losing more than, you know, if you're trading like a 35 K account and you're losing more than 850, you're, you're wrong on a day. So stop trading, go leave and come back the next day. You're not, you're not reading it correctly. So Correct. the only thing that might happen is you keep losing, losing, losing. And it's hard to make back 850 with, you know, if, the, if you're not reading correctly, unless plus you get, you, plus unless you're, you're emotional, wild. plus you're emotional, bro. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah. Plus you're emotional. Everybody has a point where they become emotional. Like for me, losing 850 is not, but it could be like 10 grand I'm down. So my so my stop loss could be 10,000 bucks, for example, right? Yeah. Because because yeah. I'm thinking, fuck, that's to me that's more money than you know that I should be losing. And so, yeah. so what happens is this, guys. So Davern hit it on the nail in the head. Okay. The only reason this is the main reason that separates me from you guys is the fact that I am able to fucking cut my losses. That is what. That is the last hurdle, guys, for you to becoming a consistently profitable trader in the long term, become a successful trader long term, is that one difference, okay? You're able, when you lose, not to give back everything. Mm -hmm. So, when, that... so you, you, you saw me every time I fucking lose. I'm pissed, but I'm still green, right? <laughs> so, I was the best trader, literally. I mean, I, it just, I, I look at your charts. I'm like, how does he do that? I'm more of a reactive trader, so I need the confirmation on the tape and before I can enter. But I just can't do like fantasy orders for some reason. Like I, I tried them, but like I just can't, you know. But I, I'm you're scared. Little... You're scared. You're I'm, scared am, because yeah. because you have PTSD from mm -hmm. the time you're wrong. Because you're yeah. blowing up every every time you blow up. You're every time you lose, you blow up. That's why you're fucking scared. Every yeah. time I lose, I know I'm not gonna blow up because I can cut my losses. I have the willpower. You see what I'm saying? So to get to that hurdle, Davin. You must be able to, for a consistent amount of time, not to lose or not to blow up your entire account when you lose. You must be able to take a hit, a jab. Mm -hmm. So you imagine like, like a, what, what, what's that? The Gypsy King's opponent, Dante what, Wilder. Oh, yeah, he yeah. Never, <laughs> he never got fucking hit. The moment he got hit yeah. one time, he's fucking, yep, he, he's yep. fucking scared. <laughs> yeah. So you ego must too, you know? be able to learn to get hit. So, you know, the Gypsy King guy, that, that Fury guy, he got hit, he got off the canvas because he got hit so many times in life. He knows how to take a punch and not get knocked out. So what you need to do is this. Size down. It's okay. It's okay to lose, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because what happens is this. You cannot be fearful when you know you're right. The, the fearful comes in the unknown. It, it's, I have PTSD too, bro. I've blown up many accounts when I started. When mm. I start thinking... Too, when I start thinking too much, that's when I fuck up. I just need to just do it because what happens is when the trade, when you are not in the trade is when you can clearly think the best, right? Yeah. And so I, that's why I also have pre-planning. Pre I pre-plan mm -hmm. my fantasy orders because what happens is this. Those fantasy orders are made or placed when I'm not in, when I'm not emotional. So those fantasy orders, in my opinion, have made me most of my money. It's mm. when I start to panic and do shit in real time because I'm emotional. I'm greedy. I'm scared. That's when I fuck up. So what you should do is size down, do the fancy mm -hmm. orders, put your fancy orders, small size, put your stops out. And then you're going to notice, oh, shit, if I was wrong, I'm only down 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm, I'm down 50 bucks. So... Over time, you're gonna realize, hey, that, that fucking doesn't really hurt. I'm only down 50 bucks when I'm wrong. That's no big deal. So my PTSD is kind of like fixed. Where now, because what happens now? You're too scared to lose, still, bro. When you get, when you fucking lost, you you you're like frightened. You're like, cause I, you don't want to blow up. 
So what you need to do is be able to go to the fucking sparring session in your gym and take these hits and realize when you take a hit, you're not going to get knocked out if you do it yep. right, right? Because and what happens is you're, you're fucking afraid because you never get hit. <laughs> so when you get hit, you fucking freeze. Afraid, so. That's so your max loss. Say, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Do not, do not be fucking afraid to trade yeah. the right way. Okay? And and that's the only difference, man. That's the only difference between me and you, bro. You know what you're doing already, man. Of course. And would you say, like, predefining your, like, uh, your not just max loss, but, like, uh, loss for every trade uh, is also, like, you know, helps you do that too, right? You, you like, can do however you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do so I've been doing that. So what I also do is this, okay? Max size. I think max size is more important. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. The, max, the max size will limit your max loss. Yep, exactly. Exactly. So, so if you want to short and locate your max size, don't go over that. Because, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> if, if your fucking max size is 500 shares, how much can you yep. possibly lose? Exactly. If it goes up a buck, you get some 500 bucks. Yep. So that's, that's how you do it, man. I, on these stocks, I'm scared. I don't locate the, the sizes I want. I just locate a little fucking amount of shares. That's a really <laughs> wow, guys. Take notes. This is really good. Proper sizing, right? It's the best risk yep. management. So, so you know, you have you. What do you do? You put multiple layers. So I'll give you an example. You are jumping in a parachute from a plane. The guy has a main parachute and he has a backup parachute. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? And so I go one step further. I have a fucking safety net too, and I, I jump with like three other guys to help me out. You know, you you, you can't just have one. One thing, max day loss is just one thing. Exactly. A hard stop is just one thing. Yeah. So you layer, I call it layering risk. Okay, we have videos on this, how to layer risk. So do what it fucking takes and get a tab. Sometimes you, you fucking, you know, you need a tab. Because what's going to do is like, I've, I've heard members call a broker to remove their max loss. No, hell no. <laughs> fuck you, fuck yes, bro. I, I, I have guys fucking telling me they do that. And I'm like, fucking, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, what's the point? But you, <laughs> you, well, you know what, man? That's human psychology, right? You're yeah, fucking so pissed off. You're revenge trading. And then that's, that's, that's why it gets in these psychosis. That's how these guys, you know, they, they, they see red and they're just fucking crazy. That's how they kill people and, you know, shit like that. So, sometimes yeah. you need a friend to pull you the fuck out. That's how the tab is. So. And, and we provide that in MIC, right? We have tab programs. So, as soon as you join, you can go on tab, um, you know, channel. You can, you, you know, you can find your match up with the tab. Yep. You know what tab is, man? It's your wingman, your clubbing wingman. Training <laughs> accountability, buddy. Training. Just he's like your training. wingman, yo. <laughs> so he's got, if, if, you're, if it's last call and you're hitting on someone that you're not supposed to be hitting, he's going to pull you out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> your, your wingman. Your clubbing exactly. accountability, buddy. Your cap. Hot, <laughs> Hot chicks only one in a club. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you for coming on. All right. Hey, I'll Appreciate see you in chat. Everyone, if you right, have man. any questions, DM me. Um, you know, I'm, I am a member. I've been a member since day one. Um, if you have any questions about MIC, you want to get a member's experience, hit me up. Uh, Davron. Uh, or real estate. Or real estate. Play oh, real, real estate, quick, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Sacramento area. Hit him up, man. Davron. Yes. All right, brother. Thanks, brother. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right, man. See you, man. Bye. All right, guys. I want to end it there. That's a good note. Layering risk. Notice what Davron did, man. He, he didn't shy away from admitting he lost. He told people he blew up. He's not ashamed of it because you know what, man? Loss does not define who you are. You know what defines who you are is is the ability to bounce back, to recognize and own the loss and bounce back. All right, guys, we'll see you back in IG next time. But tomorrow is the free webinar that Tosh and I will do at 2 p.m. market time. So we'll see you tomorrow. See you guys back in the room. Bye, guys.